So I first dabbled in mullets on the fly about, well, seven years ago, so 2015. Um, yeah, it wasn't anything serious. I didn't uh, get into it uh, properly until last year. I was on an estuary in North Kent. But this year with petrol prices having gone from bad to worse with the Ukraine situation, you know, we thought with COVID we'd seen the, seen the worst of everything in the rearview mirror, but then frying pan into the fire with Ukraine. So yeah, I mean, for me, I find mullet uh, addictive more so than any other species. I think the highly visual nature of uh, mullet on the fly, um, you're not fishing for them if you're not seeing them and it's just the tails out of the water, the boils, the fins poking out, the vortexes, uh, the jumping fish, the bow waves. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just very visual. And the average size of these fish can be, you know, two, three, four, five pounds. And uh, yeah, they can be in, you know, it could be, a, you know, a group of 20 in front of you all in small pods, or it could be 200 or even more in some cases. The other thing with mullet is they all fight really well. And the simplicity of it, it's, it's uh, you know, a five weight rod, a box of flies, 0.18 tippet or whatever, um, just one spool of that. Simplicity really, and uh, yeah. And it's also, also difficult, so it always keeps you on your toes. And uh, yeah, there's nothing worse than losing a mullet, that's for sure. Don't worry bro, it's all right, it's all right. There'll be another chance. I know it's shit. I know we had it in the net several times. Don't worry man. So this season started off with, uh, as I said, the petrol prices going from bad to worse. Um, and I started scouting some local places uh, just to save money. Um, yeah, so it involved jumping down sea walls. Yeah, I made it. Um, wading through lots of mud, you know, looking for the uh, track marks. And it goes back to mullet being very visual. You know, you can see where the fish have been as well. So. Yeah, that's a dynamic that isn't always present in other species. So, you know, when the tide's out, you can see like just all these track marks and you know that, you know, fish are there. It doesn't always mean they're going to be there, you know, at the right stage of the tide for fishing. It might be, be too, di too deep or what have you, but at least you can see where they've been. Yeah, it's also a very physical um, uh, type of fishing as well. I mean, especially if no one's showing you any locations and you have to find the spots for yourself. And so. Yeah, if you go through all of that effort, you know, to lose one is pretty devastating. Oh. 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 Sorry, man. Listen, yeah, yeah, you good. know the place, more will come. And they're still coming and they're still no here. No fault, man. I was in too much of a rush to get that in. I know, I could have netted it for you. That's all I'm going to say. So last year, I think I had nine fish in about uh, four months fishing. So I was averaging maybe a fish every three sessions. Um, and I took out a guy called Josh Allen, uh, a very progressive and um, innovative uh, angler who hasn't been fly fishing that long actually. And um, yeah, he came, came out with me, took him a couple of sessions and he landed his first mullet. 
But over the course of the next few months, he started sort of uh, tweaking, you know, experimenting with uh, fishing under an indicator. And he came up with a technique of using two flexi flosses, one on the deck, you know, thin lips tend to feed mostly by skimming the surface of mud where they pick up algae and microorganisms. So it just makes perfect sense to present something on the bottom. And yeah, when I implemented that technique this year, I went from, uh, you know, one fish, you know, per three sessions angler to uh, two or three fish se uh, session angler. This is fantastic, Josh. intense season of um, you know scouting fishing and getting caked in mud um, but yeah it's been very rewarding I'm not sure what I'll be doing next year fishing wise but yeah you know I, I know there's somewhere not too far from where I live where I can go and have a few Legend. That's a big one. Meaning about what a thing lip. What a thing lip. 